The Doctrine of Dualism, Homage to Ahara. And it, yeah, well, I, it, it already used this, the Doctrine of Dualism title. Um, this hymn bears fewer traces of a fragmentary condition than others. It recalls Yasna 30, and like it appears to belong to a period or an interval of political repose and theological activity. It is smoother and more artificial than is usual, and it goes straight on its way from beginning to end. A powerful adversary had just been crushed. It was the Dusaste of Yasna 32.9. This may well have been the result of the conflict alluded to in Yasna 40. 4 verses 15 and 16, and possibly in Yasna 51, 9 and 10, also urged on by the fierce Yasna 31, 18, probably oft repeated in lost hymns. An assembly is addressed in Yasna 31, but this time as coming from near and from far, it may very possibly have been winning the winning side in a late struggle. The first verse sounds like a congratulations. And it could be that the 72 Yasna bit was per se the right number and they came back to reconstruct things later or to represent them at least. One, it, it might be said to be intended to be sung, if not shouted, to a multitude whose outskirts were by no means within easy reach of the voice. At all events, attention is summoned with three differing expressions. Awake your ears to the sound, literally sound ye, in a receptive sense. Let the sound peel in your ears, and then listen, sraata, and then ponder, mazda un. Godum, the ante Zarathustra, the evil teacher par eminence, has been defeated, he declares, and he will never again destroy the peace of our lives. 32 verses 9 and 10. His evil creed has been silenced, and his tongue can no longer shout out. Its periods of persuasion are invective. Yesna 31 12 beside our preachers. 2. Then he reiterates the chief doctrine for which the parties had been at war, and which they should now see clearly in the light of the victory. The foul evils of society do not lie within the control of the holy Ahura in such a manner as that he either originates or tolerates them. They are, on the contrary, the product of the personified anger of the Da'avas, the Ma'in Yu, in its evil sense, the Angra, angry, spirit, between this being, our personified abstraction, and Hura, there is a gulf fixed. Never do we see any aspersions upon Ahura's name, our suspicion of its purity, shown by complicity with cruelty, our toleration of evil passions. It has also been noted that the defeated Dusaste may have possibly been a Da'aba worshipping chiefly, um, may have been a demon worshipper chiefly as being a heretic from this faith of Ahura, believing him to be implicated in the creation are the permission of sin and suffering are if the burial or burning of the dead was forbidden at this time and possibly a heretic on these questions also but yet as a recreant Mazda worshipper he may have claimed a rightful allegiance to the Urvata and the future blessings as well as temporal advantages involved in a correct discipleship, and so he may have used the name of the sacred tenets of the religion itself 
to help on a nefarious warfare. In fact, he may have been a self-styled Mazda worshipper, but not a Zarathustra's order, not owned at all, in any degree, by the genuine adherents, and met as a real, if not an open, of a worshipper. The ardent prophet, therefore, declares the utter severance between the good and the evil, the god and the demon. It is a popular corollary to Yasna 30, Verses 3 to 6, the two spirits came together, indeed at first to make life, and its negation, and they cooperate, if such a term can be applied to an irreconcilable antagonism, out of whose antithesis and friction sentient existence alone becomes possible. Their union consists in opposition, for if they blend, they each cease to be what they are. They are while upholders of existence yet separate forever, and that as to every attribute and interest. 3. And the sage goes on to assert that in this he is proclaiming the first matra of this life, which the all-wise Mazda had revealed to him, and whether sure of the victorious masses before him, or whether on the contrary perfectly aware that many a group among them had been more convinced by the snotethatis than by reason, he presses at once upon them that one terrible doctrine, which seems unfortunately too needful for all successful and sudden propagandism, and declares that they who do not act in such a manner, accordant with what he speaks, and even thinks, having formally announced it to such delinquents as this life should, and in woe. 4. Proceeding in a happier vein, he then dwells upon the fatherhood of God. You know, the me whole metaphor thing. He will declare this world's best being, who is Mazda himself. He is the father of the good mind. He is the father of the good mind within his people. When that good mind is active in good works, so our piety, when it is practical, is his daughter. 4. No pretended good intention can claim relationship with him, nor can any idle sentiment. He needs the ready mind within his servant, and he is not to be deceived. And compare this to Yasna 43, verse 6. And 5. Once more to the Mathra, and this time to hold out rewards rather than utter threats. He declares that happiness and immortality would be the portion of those who listen to and ponder his revelations, and that Ahura himself would likewise approach them with the rewarding actions of his good mind, for Ahura was also in all good actions on the one hand, just as his immortal archangels, on the other hand, had their objective existence likewise in the believer's soul. 6. Turning from admonition to worship, he announces, not what he terms the first, verse 3, nor the best, verses 4 and 5, but the greatest element of all, implying that praise, which he now expresses, includes both prayer and doctrinal confessions, and he calls on Ahura both to listen and to teach. 7. It is the greatest element indeed, for it concerns these spiritual blessings, which not only the offerers who are now living will seek after, but those who shall live in the future, nay, even the spirits of the just, desire them in the eternal immortality. And these blessings are, according to well-remembered law, woe to the wicked, and that not only from outward discipline, but from inward grief, and Ahura had established, so he added, the beneficent. But, as regards the wicked, still solemn regulations, by the exercise of his sovereign power as the controller of all. See Yasna 29.4. 8. Zarathustra, or a substitute, then professes his eagerness to serve the Lord with these words, which he had called the greatest, and because he had seen him with his very eyes, which he explains as meaning that he had known him through the righteous order in his soul, and therefore he prays and hopes to pronounce these greatest praises, not in the assembly, see Yasna 51.3, alone, but in the home of sublimity or song, Yasna 50.4. He, 
you know, see those verses. Uh, and he desire nine, and he desires all the more fervently to do homage to Ahura because he approaches him with the power of his divine authority in weal or woe, blessing both men and herds, so long as they multiplied under the influences of piety. Ten, as the praises were the greatest, so he seeks to magnify the Lord and the Yasnas of Aramaite Ahura, being renowned by his unchanging purpose. Four, he will bestow the eternal two in his holy kingdom, when it shall have been made firm. 11. Yea, he would seek to magnify him who contends the Da'avas and their party, as much as they, in their turn, profess to make little of him and his religious kingdom, contrasted as they were with the Hura's prophet, who honored him and the holy insight. The Da'ana of the Sa'oshant. And this Sa'oshant is declared to be the controlling master of every faithful worshiper, and he are the faithful venerator of the reviled Ahura, is also as our friend, brother, nay, like Ahura himself, like verse 4 indicates, our very father in the faith. No, see? Uh, one. Yea, I will speak forth, hear ye now listen, ye who from near, and ye who from afar have come seeking the knowledge. Now ponder ye clearly all that concerns him. Not for a second time shall the false teacher slay our life. Of the mind are the body. The wicked is hemmed in with his faith and his tongue. 2. Yea, I will declare the worlds. Verse 2. Spirits, of whom the more bountiful thus spake to the harmful. Neither our thoughts, nor commands, nor our understandings, nor our beliefs, nor our deeds, nor our consciences, nor our souls are at one. 3. Thus I will declare the world's first teachings, that which the all-wise Mazda Hura hath told me, and they among you who will not so fulfill and obey this matra as I now shall conceive and declare it, to these shall the end of life issue and woe. 4. This I will declare forth this world's best being from the inside of his righteousness. Mazda, who hath appointed these things, hath known what he utters to be true. Yea, I will declare him the father of the toiling good mind within us. So is his daughter, through good deeds, our piety, not to be deceived, is the all-viewing Lord. 5. Yea, thus I will declare that which the most bountiful one told me, that word which is the best to be heeded by the mortals. They who therein grant me obedient attention, upon them cometh weal to bless, and the immortal being, and in the deeds of his good mind cometh the Lord. 6. A, thus I will declare forth him who, of all the greatest praising through my righteousness, I who do aright, those who dispose of all as well aright. Let Ahura Mazda hear with his bounteous spirit, in whose homage what I asked was axed with the good mind. A, let him exhort me through his wisdom, which is ever the best. 7. Yea, I will declare him, whose blessings the offerers will seek for those who are living now, as well as those who have lived aforetime, as will they who are coming hereafter, yea, even the souls of the righteous will desire them in the eternal immortality, those things they will desire which are blessings to the righteous, but woes to the wicked. And these hath Ahura Mazda established through his kingdom. He, the creator of all. 8. Him and our hymns of homage and of praise would I faithfully serve. For now with mine eye I see him clearly, Lord of the good spirit, a word and action. I, knowing through my righteousness, him who is a Hura Mazda, and to him, not here alone, but in his home of song, his praise we shall bear. 9. Yea, him, with our better mind, we seek to honor who desiring 
God shall come to us to bless and weal in sorrow. May he, Ahura Mazda, make us vigorous through Kshatha's royal power, our flocks and men, and thrift to further from the good support and bearing of his good mind itself born in us by his righteousness. 10. Him and the yasnas of our piety we seek to praise with homage, who in his persistent energy was fain to be in troth the Lord Ahura Mazda, for he hath appointed in his kingdom through his holy order and his good mind both weal and immortality to grant the eternal mighty pair to this our land and the creation. 11. Him would we magnify and praise, who hath despised the Da'ava entities and alien men, foreigners, them who before held him in their derision, far from, uh, far different are these from him who gave him honor. The latter one is through the Sa'ushant's bounteous faith, who likewise is the Lord of saving power, a friend, brother, or father to us, Mazda Lord. And that good to the, and bad to the, is a language used in many scriptures. It's used in the Nokian keys around 9 and 10, right? Um, oh, am I listening to the right ones? But um, a garland to the righteous and a scorn to the wicked and um, what does it say? But we're going to continue here um, with the comment from the progress and struggles of the cause after um, I point out that I guess it was number eight. Come appear to the terror of the earth and to our comfort and of such as are prepared. Nes zamran keaofe kausko un bleors ud corse ta abrameg as it says. But the next, you know, the ninth Enochian key, happy on they who they frown not, and the tenth considers, uh, continues that theme that there's a, that there's a hell, and um, the Parsi Persian manuscript, Wamakas Adun Az Suma Ke U. Darwand Mansar Sunawad Wa Amu Tesan Ku as Asmokan Awesta Wazan Ma Sunawad Ke Andar Mahal Sahar Wade Dehad Bada Raftesan Wa Marg An E Asmog a edun, osan asmogan ra, sazad sela. And that's very close there. Um, oh. I guess that's way further back. Well, not that further back. We're talking about the end, about verse eighteen here, but um, at verse twenty. The final note here cites Narengyo saying, He who betrays the pure through his fraud, may the seat be also his portion. At the last, that is, let it be so afterwards, it is in his soul. Long as his journey and his arrival is in darkness, and evil food and increasing lawlessness is his. Darkness is your world, O ye wicked, your inbred deeds. And your dean are leading you on. Dean da anna, you know, it's it's the system of judgment. And in the afterlife, the idea is that that's personified as something that you can witness. Kind of like the 
daimon of the Greeks. Um, not the same as daimon or demon, you know. Um, that took on a different meaning. Uh, emerit atat means more than long life. Is clear from Amesha. And, you know, the wheel of immortality, we're referring to verse 21 here. Afas nasman pati. The Gathic would be, more literally perhaps, from his own dominion. Oh, as the head of dominion within his saints. Sardari. Oh, as the head. Um, Vaz Devari. Nergyosang has Piv Var Atam. Piv Var Ratvam. He's going in Sanskrit, right? That we're talking the vigorous might. And finally, the one, the fifth, oh, the friend. One naturally thinks of Urvatha, Vratha, as having something of the sense of Vratya, but usage compels also the sense of friendship. Kubshman, Kazus, Leher, Der Dirch, Gesunung, Anathaten, Sikh, Ehem, Alas, Fund er weist. Naronya sang, um, we're fulfilling the vows, but I, th like, I think we're talking about the whole verse here, has Mahagnane Dadau Savami Avirdadat An Irdadat Sampurnatvam Punyat mana negam prabutvam ragnya alipatyana utamena pivaratvam manasa tasmae dadate yo negasya arisyam urte karmana mitram. And so, according to the frequent indications, um, you know, you don't want to be blinded by the perverter. Um, tano, uh, uh, tanu aito. Naringyu sang has sa te mitram este nivedditatan u for um, the vigorous being. For he serves with every power. We have C chapter 33, 14. The Pathology Translator renders as freely as follows. Manifest things, so possibly otherwise manifestly, are these two. So a manuscript not elsewhere compared the wise when... Oh, manuscript not elsewhere. That's, that's a parenthesis I maybe shouldn't have said. But um, the wise when according to his understanding, he disposes and reflects. That is, he who meditates with thought upon that which is Lord and Dastur declares to him, Good is the king for whom they would affect righteousness in word and deed, the man whose body is a bearer of thee, O oh, Ah, uh, U Harmazd. And we are moving on to the section called The Struggle is Continued in the Midst of Reverses. So we're going to be talking about those notes. And there's a prominent teacher that is mentioned. Um, but think of how in the Bible you have it's it's apparent as time goes on and some of the some of the changes were attempts at explanation, which Nowadays, we just write commentaries, although some changes have been made in modern times to the Bible, but um, anyways, his 
Lord Kinsman will pray. We have some prominent teacher representing the entire Da'aba party is alluded to. And see the verses 6, 7, 9, and 10. Well, it obviously depends who you're going to refer to as your spiritual leader. In the Islamic vision, one of the things, uh, you're asked three questions. You know, who's your Lord? You know, your God. Um, in that context, the cherisher, sustain, that sort of thing. Um, who's your prophet and what's your religion? And, you know, um, When you declare one prophet, it's not like you're renouncing the other. You're, you know, who among you is, you know, uh, the kinsman will pray. Yasa and Yasna 28.2 has a similar thing. And the Da'ava worshippers, so is it Da'avas Yasnas, or is it Da'ava Yasna? The worshippers part is plural, but the worshipper is not just worshipper. The songs, the praise, the celebration. Well, obviously, anything that treats something as a god, but, you know. But are his, are the da'abas, but the verb yasat, perhaps, affords a sufficient expression for da'eva. Yasen or Henti may be understood. We may also understand the Da'avas here as the embodied Da'avas in the matter in which the pious worshipper is called Bohu Mana. That Da'ava should, however, be used quite simply for the Da'ava worshipper in this early composition is not probable. In the latter Avesta, it is of frequent usage. Well, da'eva means a choice. These beings are such as a choice. Just like in the Quran, you don't have, or in Islamic literature and period, you don't have this idea that sh the shayateen are that way because they were created sh to be shayateen. Um, but a sufficient understanding for da'eva, yasen, or henti may be understood. There's the verb yasat, okay. We may also understand the da'avas here as the embodied da'avas in a manner in which the pious worshiper is called bohumana, that the da'ava should however be used uh, quite simply for da'ava worshiper. You know, worshiper in this connotation as, you know, treating the things as gods. Um, in the early composition is not probable. The later verse is quite frequently. Oh, I'm sorry, I repeated all that. Um, but the pious worshiper being called the good mind. Yeah, that's that's okay. The the friend. Oh, I can't believe I messed up that bad. Uh, the in my mind is the friendship of a hermasta. Or the friend a recoil as much as possible from abstracts. But the pahlavi has who. Ravak Mani and Geldner that Marley proposed Brahman. Well, known through personification, yet beyond personification. Um, and Kafi, you know, the, the Islamic um, Hadith book, um, talks about how the the demons of the fire beings, you know, well, particularly Iblis, his will is incarnate through those who choose to disbelieve and um, disobey God. Um, and we hold back to those who hate and offend you, but I think this is going to maybe towards the whole verse. Or, well, no, I guess it's just part of it. Ig san min lekum lakvar yak Sen un em. So the Pahali translation, first venturing on the meaning holding back from, 
dar in the sense of pa, which latter in Iranian can mean hold back from advantages as well as from misfortunes. High modern authority coincides with the most ancient authority on this latter point. It is apt to be a subject of skepticism with some who neglect the evidence of tradition. And we move on to the next verse. We're talking about these. Hermas answers ruling, as he does. Um, Aig spendarmad lekum rai sapir doshem undak menesni zak i anman aito aigmano bavan tanu mahman yahev unad ner your song has something that renders as to these the great wise one the lord answered in the lordship of the highest best mind that is if our sense gavahmana had arrived as a guest within their body from saharavara he answered through the righteousness from the well inclined and through good conduct if truly good conduct had arrived as a guest within their body and he said i befriend your earth so Aramaete was later understood, the perfect-minded one, and your highest one, she is mine. And the bit about the evil mind from verse 3 um, can be compared to Yasna 36, where the Da'avas are approached by the worst mind as they are consulting. And, you know, he will offer sacrifice. As to those who offer sacrifice to these, Da'avas are mentioned separately. We are forced to to concede a larger idea to the composer. He addresses the Da'abas as poetically conceived to be present, and not merely their worshippers, as in verse 1. This must have had its weight in the exegesis of other passages. You know, it's, it's not just the same, uh, the thing is upon them, you know, the benedictions that uh, monotheists would have, uh, but the Da'abas are addressed to a greater degree, you could say. The Pahlavi I mean, you know, they're directly um, invoked in the sense of prayed to or through. The Pahlavi translation has kebed, or mas for masyo. And we're talking, uh, you are the most, in verse 3 there. Um, and there's possibly arrogance. Avar ministar, that you're saying, has apa man astaraska in the place of um, 89, uh, in the middle of the verse, talking about the perversion. And I guess I have to stop.